In this video, I'm gonna be helping you guys become the absolute best Modern Warfare 2 player. We are gonna be going over how to predict spawns, rotate around the map efficiently, and make smart decisions to hit your highest kill streak as well as drop the KGB tactical nuke. To do this, we are gonna be breaking down one of my KGB nuke gameplays, but if you guys need any more help, feel free to send me your gameplays so I can go ahead and go over. Now, with all that being said, the like goal on this video is going to be 400 likes, and if you guys want to stay up to date with any and all best class setups best settings tips and tricks as well as any updates that do go live here in mono for two make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and turn those post notifications let's get right into it now before i get into the gameplay breakdown let me know down in the comment section right now what is one complaint what is something you guys are struggling with here at modern for two multiplayer i want to make a video to help you guys become the best player you can be and also go ahead and completely ratify a lot of the concerns you guys might be having now the first complaint the number one mistake that i see a lot of people make here in modern warfare 2 that i've noticed actually happens before they boot up into their first match and that's going to be playing the wrong game modes as you guys can see here i am playing on hard point now, when you guys actually start playing Modern Warfare 2, I highly recommend you guys going to the quick play feature and filtering out every mode except Hardpoint. Hardpoint is going to be hands down the best game mode to play here in Modern Warfare 2 if you guys are trying to drop as many kills as possible, have as little deaths, and have the most enjoyable playing experience because it's going to prevent as much camping from happening and also making it easier to predict the spawns and rotate around efficiently. Hardpoint is gonna be based on the Hardpoint Hill. The spawns here in Modern Warfare 2 are incredibly, and I mean incredibly strong and very easy to predict in Hardpoint, and that's gonna make getting a streak a hell of a lot easier. Now, as you guys can see here, I'm gonna pause the gameplay. Whenever the hill is going to be in the ruins area, that's where it is. That's where it's going to be called in this game on hydroelectric. That's what it's called on the compass. Where I'm standing right now is going to be a major, and I mean a major spawn point. Now, I'm actually going to go ahead and rewrite the gameplay right now so you guys can actually get an understanding on what you need to be doing. Now, when the hill is in the ruins area, you want to make sure you guys are attacking that position from the left-hand side of this map and making this flank route. Now, doing so, you're going to be able to take enemies out from behind, and that's going to be your best way to build up a quick and easy streak. Remember, we want to play smart, not harder. Taking people out from behind not only is going to make getting a nuke easier, but you're also going to get your camos challenges done quicker because that's a challenge in effect. So definitely go ahead and take this tip. Now, when you guys want to go ahead and rotate here, like I said previously, this spawn point right here, that's going to be a major spawn point right here as well in this area is going to be a major spawn point and you're going to be able to rotate and take people out incredibly easily from behind so that's what we're going to be doing on this map and a majority of the maps here in modern warfare 2. you don't even need a uav for this where i take this player out here that's going to be another spawn point and you guys can see i'm literally going ahead and easily picking off players that have no idea what's going on now right here again this is going to be another major spawn point where i'm standing when the hill is going to be in the ruins area and you can essentially rotate this over and over and over again and take people out from behind that's literally what i do in 99 percent of my new gameplays i make sure that i am rotating and putting myself in the best position for myself so I can take enemies out that are at a disadvantage. That's how you play Call of Duty, especially Modern Warfare 2, the most efficient way possible. Again, I'm trying to go ahead and rotate around this area. Like I said previously, they start spawning over here. Now, right here, I actually made a mistake and I get taken out. Sometimes you put a couple bullets into people here in this game and they can still take you out. You know, it's Call of Duty. It's going to happen. There's little you can do to prevent that from happening. Unfortunately, it's just one of those things that not even the best players, not even pro players can go ahead and, you know, get away from. Now, what I'm doing here again is kind of going ahead and trying to rotate around the map. Now, notice that whenever i go middle map i die that's another mistake that i see people constantly make is running middle map as soon as i went middle map what happened 
I got taken out. So definitely go ahead and avoid that at all costs. Now here, I'm trying to go ahead and rotate and get into a position where I can take people out from behind. I'm trying to get behind the hill. Now something else that you guys are gonna see that I actually made mistakes here in this gameplay is I'm actually sprinting around corners, which you never want to do here in Modern Warfare 2 because the time to kill is lightning quick. You want to make sure that you guys are making sure that your center of your crosshairs are at the center of your screen and that you guys are, you know, anticipating gunfights. Now, right here, again, because I did not do what I just said, I got taken out by a complete idiot, and that was honestly... That was an embarrassing death. Imagine if I was one off a nuke and I died like that. Now, this is where things start to go ahead and heat up. The hard point is going to be on the control room, and we're going to be going ahead and locking down this area. It's not camping because we're literally sitting on the hill. We're going to be taking people out from elevated positions. Remember, my advantage, not theirs, and just going ahead and building up a quick and easy streak. That guy ran middle map, got taken out. Don't do it. Now, we're going to be going ahead, like I said, just picking these guys off as they're trying to go ahead and get to the hill. Once you go ahead and get a UAV, which I wouldn't know why you would not run here in this game, you can start going ahead and positioning yourself a little bit easier because you're going to have an idea where people are at. But right here is where things are going to get pretty interesting as well. You guys can see here, the hard point hill is behind me. All of my teammates are also behind me. So the enemy team can only spawn on the opposite side of the map. And because we are in the control room, I can literally sit on this elevated position and start picking people off incredibly, and I mean incredibly easily, as they are trying to get to the hill, and that's exactly what I'm doing here. So you want to make sure, like I said, you guys are putting yourself in the best situations possible to go ahead and get some quick and easy kills to get your nuke streak. Now, right here, I actually almost got killed, luckily. And right here, again, I kind of had some, like, you know vanguard flashback i thought i had a stem shot actually had a stun grenade luckily i didn't kill myself from that and also luckily i had an ammo box here to go ahead and give me some ammunition which i reckon you guys definitely running on your class setups i take this player out right here i throw a landmine down because i know a lot of them are going to be going ahead and running through this area i recommend you guys running the mines and throwing them in hot spots you're gonna be getting a lot of free and easy kills something you guys also want to kind of you know keep in mind is they can actually swim around that corner so if you guys see a red dot on the mini map or you guys see somebody that magically disappears check that water passageway you do not want to get shot from behind and like i said previously when the hard point hill is in the ruins it's going to be a repeat again we're going to go ahead and take these guys out from the left hand side of the map we're not going to go on the right hand side of the map here because there's a lot of head glitch they can go ahead and camp behind and right here i'm just going ahead and building up my street now because i actually dropped the sae i decided to go ahead and make a wrap here because i knew i was going to blow up as many of them off the hard point hill as possible there was no way somebody was going to be sitting on a head glitch waiting for me to turn the corner now right here i'm trying to go ahead and take people out from behind as quickly and as easily as possible to go ahead and continue my streak i'm on an 11 gun streak right now man i still need quite a bit of kills to get the nuke so i need to go ahead and kick up the pace there's 150 points you know already into the hard point game i don't have all day so i have to go ahead and rotate efficiently now right here i'm kind of using my teammate as a shield teammate shielding is something that you guys definitely want to go ahead and do here in modern warfare if you have an idea that an enemy is going to be around the corner and your teammate is you know going to run that corner before you do let him do so you might miss out on a kill but you also might miss out on a on a death so it's going to be one of those things that you'd rather be safer than sorry now again I'm trying to go ahead and figure out how I want to go ahead and attack this. The hard point hill is actually kind of behind the control room area. And I know a lot of the enemies are going to be on that position. So obviously, I'm not going to bust through the control room and risk death. Now, again, I see a lot of my teammates going that way. I decided to go ahead and try to make this outskirts push here. Now, again, I did go through middle map, but sometimes you have to do it if you are low on time. And again, here, I'm starting to pick these guys off. I got so lucky that nobody had a grenade right there because i would have been blown up i decided to throw a mine in a hot spot and right now i'm starting to cook i'm starting to go ahead and go crazy i'm building up a quick and easy streak now because i don't have a lot of time here i'm gonna let my teammate teammate shield you guys can see here i'm letting him go ahead and attack these you know positions i'm letting him go ahead and be the meat shield 
and they're just jumping on the hill right now. So I want to go ahead and put myself in a position here that I can take people out from behind. I know that I cannot go ahead and push the middle map. So what do I do? I go ahead and wrap on the left side an area that I am comfortable with, and I know I can take people out from behind. So again, make sure you guys are taking this ruins area hard point from the left-hand side of the map. And again here, we're going to be going ahead and taking them out from behind. Like I said previously, they're all spawning back here. Ridiculous how heavy this spawn point hill is. Look at this, y'all. I got a crazy, and I mean a crazy flank. I took out like six people there. Now, that guy got away from me, but I knew for a fact I needed to dip out that area and continue my nuke streak. So, I'm going to continue to go ahead and flank. Right there, I got pretty scared that I was going to die to the SAE. My landmine actually got a kill right there as well, you guys can see. But I just have to go ahead and throw a landmine on a hot position there. I know I like to go ahead and rotate through that area. Nothing wrong with throwing mines down. Make sure you guys put them in spots that you know people are going to come from. Free and easy kills. Now, again, because I know they're trying to rotate around this area, I do not want to bust through the control room that quick because I know somebody could be head glitching. I'm on a brutal right now. I'm five off the nuke. I'm trying to go ahead and play smart. We're going to let my teammates kind of be meat shields here. Rotating up here as well. I'm going to get onto the elevated position. My teammate is to my left. I see my teammate got taken out. Last stand. Got my kill kind of stolen here. No big deal. And right now, I'm just going to be sitting in this elevated position, trying to take as many of them out as possible as they're trying to go ahead and get to the control room hard point. Right here is kind of when I knew I had the nuke in the bag as long as my teammates did not have any type of defensive breakdown. I'm going to pause the gameplay here. You guys can see all my teammates are behind the hill, and I'm the only person in the control room area so they all are literally going to be converging on myself so there's going to be a lot of players running at me very quickly and i have a couple kills left to get my nuke so right now i'm like okay this is the best case scenario i need to go ahead and get some quick and easy kills to secure that v2 or technically the nuke here in this game hard point like i said is going to be the best mode because it's very 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 easy to go ahead and predict the spawns and rotate accordingly because of how things are playing out based on where the hills are. Now, again, I know they're all going to be behind me here. I'm trying to go ahead and put myself in a position to where I can take people out and get some free and easy kills. I don't want to rush and give up the nuke streak. I know they have to come to this hill. I know that I'm in a good position. My teammates are spawning behind me. You guys can see they're spawning back in the ruins. There's literally only a couple spawns on this map. This is going to be one of the best maps to go ahead and get a, v a nuke. I almost had V2 again. A nuke here in Modern Warfare 2. They're spawning behind. I have no choice because we have no time. So that's kind of why I'm rotating around the right-hand side here. And also, I know they're all kind of focused on my teammates. So right there, took that player out. Rotate over here. Took him out. Took them and there we go. We got the MGB. We got the nuke. So right here, I'm kind of like, yes, we got it. And I'm just rotating right there. I heard him behind me. But you guys are seeing this. The spawns are crazy here. They're absolutely crazy. People are constantly spawning around. I'm just kind of just going ahead and taking them off the hill. And right there, I noticed that they're about to win. So let's just go ahead and drop this nuke, man. I can guarantee you guys, if you guys filter out hardpoint and you guys play on hydroelectric, and you take these tips into account, you are going to be able to go ahead and get your nuke or at least a ridiculously high kill streak right there. Boom. Look them out, man. This is hands down one of the best, if not the easiest maps to go ahead and rotate here in Modern Warfare 2 as of right now. It kind of gives me a beta map experience vibe just because of how very easy it is to rotate. See, I got 56 kills here. Didn't get that much time on the hill, but I was going ahead and, you know, patrolling it and making sure that my teammates, you know, could sit on it while I was going ahead and getting kills. Because at the end of the day, if I didn't get this nuke, we would have lost the game. So, there it is. Now, as always, I got you guys covered with the class setup if you guys want to check it out. On the M4, I was running it with the Cronin Mini Red Dot. A great optic to run on this weapon, so it's easy to use at longer ranges. I had on the 419mm EXF barrel fantastic if you guys want to map and melt people very easy with the m4 i had on the echo line gsx for that recoil smoothness and sound suppression so i can run around the map and take people out from behind very easily 
to get those nukes. I had on the VX Pineapple Underbarrel for more recoil steadiness. And then finally, for the rear grip, I was running the X10 grip to bump up that sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed, giving this weapon a little bit better close range handling. Definitely a solid class that you guys should check out. And the remainder of the build, I was actually running the Vel 46. These attachments are kind of irrelevant. I just had on the pineapple as well as the laser sight. Don't have this gun leveled up yet, but meat and potatoes. I had the stun grenade, the proximity mine, and I was running the assault perk package, which gives us overkill savenger, hardline, as well as quick fix with the munitions box. Definitely a solid loadout that I dropped a couple V2s or nukes with here in Modern Warfare 2. So if you guys enjoyed the video and these tips did help you guys out, I named off a bunch and I know you guys will definitely be able to improve from these. Make sure you guys drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn those post notifications. It's been your boy Ears, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.